After a long-awaited news conference, leaders of the main opposition coalition, NASA, led by Raila Odinga, say they have the real figures, and Odinga has won the election. They wouldn't disclose their source, but they say they've discredited the ongoing verification of results by the Electoral Commission. The data which confirms the authentic and legitimate results of the presidential election shows that the two leading candidates obtained the following votes. Raila Amolo Dinga, 8,041,726 votes. Uhuru Kenyatta, 7,755,428 votes. IEBC officials have denied claims that their IT system was hacked to manipulate results in favor of Odinga's rival Uhuru Kenyatta. They say there was an attempt, but it failed. Most of the observers have given the commission a clean bill of health so far. I think that it deserves to be examined, but it is not a reason to stop the process or to question the entire election at this point. Accordingly, we can say that the processes, as we were able to observe, up to and including the counting of the votes at the polling stations and their transmission to the IEBC and so on, <clears throat> met the standards set by Kenya and the AU for the conduct of democratic elections. Following the opposition leader's declaration of their own results, some people in Odinga's stronghold of Kisumu in western Kenya took to the streets to celebrate. But the city largely remains calm. Many shops are still closed and streets are less busy. The outskirts have been equally quiet. This is usually a very busy market here in Kondele, in Kisumu. Most of the stall owners have decided to stay away. We've also seen groups of uh, mostly young men huddled together. We've spoken to some of them. They say they have every confidence in their leader, Raila Odinga. They believe everything he says. In this area is where you'll find some of the most loyal supporters of Raila Odinga and his opposition coalition. Well, everything has to be clear. I mean, so far, up to where we have reached, it leaves more questions to be answered than answers. As things stand now, the elections were predetermined, meaning the whatever results we are getting and the whatever excuses are being based on it are not totally acceptable to most of the Kenyans who turned out yes. to yes. exercise their democratic rights. Yes. Officials of the Electoral Commission have been verifying documents from almost 41,000 polling stations across the country. They are checking the result forms signed by presiding officers and party agents against what is being transmitted online. This is what will ultimately validate or damn the credibility of the election. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Kisumu in Western Kenya.